Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. Hey guys, uh, day 15 of monkeypox. Just giving you guys an up close look at my lesions. Normally I'm clean shaven, but obviously I don't want to take a razor around this, but yes, they're painful, but fortunately I've got some good pain medications. So I'm hoping these are gonna be falling off in a few more days. Um, you know, the, the recovery period is usually two to four weeks, and I'm expecting probably about a three and a half week recovery period. Um, I just wanted to share my experience on Twitter with y'all, and um, I know a lot of you have been following, and this is really hard to look at. Um, so I ask for everybody to just have a little compassion and understand if it's hard to look at, imagine what it's like to have. So there's a lot of people out there that have sores not on their face, but on their genitals, or in their anal rectal area and they're going through some serious pain. Um, these aren't people who deserve to get a virus. They just simply got it. Um, and so try to be compassionate. Just remember that they're people and they're worried and they're scared and they're in pain too. Um, if you know somebody that has it, reach out. I know there's a lot of people that feel alone right now and um, are just wanting somebody to, to say that somebody's there for them. Um, Fortunately, like I said, I don't have too much longer with these, but I am in a phase where I have other lesions appearing. So like my hand, I've got that little one appearing. I've got a couple on my left. So today I'm in the restroom, not because of any reason, <laughs> just because it's the easiest way to just set up my video because the lighting's good. I can just lean against the counter and I don't have to uh, shoot all the white in the background. But essentially, I'm here to talk about monkeypox. Um, as more information comes out, I want to update the video that I did because I kind of talked about the situation with Zaddy. Corvin, Corvinus, Corvinus, Corvinus. Like every video, I get it wrong, but I'm actively trying to improve. Zaddy Corvinus. So I'm here to talk about it just because I the, the incubation period. The incubation period is seven to 21 days. So after that, you'll begin to develop the, you know, the symptoms. And I just wanted to add that in because I think I told you guys to schedule your super happy adult fun time a few days later. Listen, you know, I usually try to come on here and be impartial and just tell you guys, oh, you can still have sex, just be safe. But if I'm being honest, we shouldn't be having sex. Nico, listen, I'm gonna come on here and tell you about my vaccine because I got the vaccine, I had to jump through f***ing hurdles. Nico, I had to do some like questionable shit to get this vaccine. So I'm gonna tell you about my experience with the vaccine because it's been putting me through it for the last few days to the point that I've been, barely been able to like properly function. And I mean, it's the better alternative than catching it, but I'm going to explain why. So essentially monkeypox is not an STD. So many people in my comments were saying, it's spreading like an STD because gay people can't control themselves. And you know, if y'all just stop having sex, I'm here with new updated facts for you ignorant bitches. So, monkeypox can be spread from a heavy cough, meaning if you are in public and you inhale it, you can catch it. Monkeypox can be spread via bodily fluids such as sweat. So if you're on a bus, if you are on a bitch if you are at the gym and you touch an infected surface because the virus can stay alive for up to three to 18 months depending on the temperature. You will catch it. It is caught by skin by skin contact. That does not mean you have to bump uglies because even if you use a condom, even if you use a condom, you can still catch it because it's just skin on skin. Meaning if I'm running by you and I accidentally bump into you, you could possibly catch monkeypox if I had it. So, a lot of people are talking about the misinformation. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, y'all are only concerned about monkeypox rather than COVID because it actually affects your vanity. And a lot of people are trying to turn this virus situation into like, oh, y'all are just so afraid to be considered socially ugly. 
I'm I, I'm thinking of in, inserting the video of that porn star in Houston who has monkeypox describing it. And you can see for yourself, this isn't about a vanity issue, bitch. This is serious. Like, the lesions across the face, the agonizing pain to eat, to drink, to to wake up, the the oh my god, it's just it's it's intense. From that video I saw, it's just it's not even about vanity at this point because even when it goes away, it leaves hyperpigmentation and scarring across your body. And I'm I'm bringing this up again because so many people on the timeline are finally coming out and saying, hey. This isn't a joke. You know, the girls are actually admitting, and I appreciate it because the more you see people that you know online constantly say, no, this isn't a f-ing joke. I actually caught monkeypox and it's horrific. The more people will take it seriously. So I'm usually impartial and I say, you know, I still enjoy yourself. But at this point, just, I can't, just, I can't say just stay home because you know, the US doesn't lock down anymore because they handle it piss poorly. I didn't even get stimulus checks during the first one, you know? But just take precaution. I understand like the safety measures. They're like, wear a full PPE suit with a mask. And a lot of people do not have that access. A lot of people cannot just walk around with that. But just wear your mask, wear some gloves and some disinfectant because this is spreading like wildfire. And the CDC is finally taking it seriously because it's affecting the heterosexual community. The cis het YT community. Nico, what do you mean? There are multiple TikToks of cisgendered heterosexual people, usually of the YT race, discussing their experience with trying to find help. As in, they're going to doctors and being turned away because not even medical professionals are all informed about this. Especially because they're like marketing the vaccine and marketing awareness to LGBT people, which I understand we do have sex, but so do heterosexual people, as we can tell via their TikToks. So, I wish people would stop marketing this as like a gay STD or STI when this is just a simple viral infection that can be transferred through air, touch, sweat, fluids, food. It's, it, it's just something that is spreading rapidly at this point. And you know, I told you guys to be safe, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put my hammer down. You know, I, I rarely take a decisive move. Just don't have sex. Just don't have sex because the incubation period it can take to seven to 21 days. If you want to schedule your super happy adult fun time two weeks in advance, that would be the best because by then symptoms will definitely begin to show. Because the vaccination card, I still have it. They told me that you get fever, headaches, swollen lymph nodes, muscle aches, rashes, bumps, or blisters. If you begin to feel anything like that, go just keep your ass inside. Because at this point, people are traveling on airplanes with monkeypox with their skin exposed, meaning Seats are contaminated. Think Uber, seats can be contaminated. Think that like, it's just to the point where I'm like, the government never handles any medical crisis seriously, especially if it does not affect the heterosexual community directly. You know what I mean? Because at first it was just a few cases with LGBT people and they started painting it this way. But as soon as children started getting it, because monkey pops is very effective against children and it can possibly kill them. Like this is, a deadly disease. For the most part, people might just go blind, people might just have some disfiguration, but it can cause you to unalive, you know? And they're already beginning to run with these groomer stories because children are catching it and it was marketed for, it was marketed as an LGBT thing. And it's, it's just, it's gonna get scary. It's gonna get scary because I'm seeing more and more people come online to say, I caught it, I caught it. And once again, I'm going to, Consider inserting that video just because it is very graphic. It is extremely graphic and it might scare a few people. But you need to know what could possibly happen to you if you do not take this seriously because this is a very serious situation. And the vaccine, like I said, it is the better option, but I have to jump through hurdles. You either have to have medical care, as in an actual doctor, or you have to test positive for syphilis or gonorrhea and be on prep to even be considered to get the vaccine. Nico, I've never had an STD in my life. Not a flex. But I made sure that test said it did. Like, that's the thing. It's like, the fact that <laughs> the fact that medical and healthcare is not widely available to everyone, it's ridiculous in this country, especially since we just got done with one panini, and now we're about to get into another one because once this hits, I believe someone said once this hits wastewater, 
like it gets into the water filtration system, it's gonna be downhill and there's already traces of it getting into water systems within, I think it was either Florida or Tennessee. I'm gonna go back and look and insert that screenshot, but it's just <laughs> to the point where I'm like, it's not worth it. Especially because the vaccine, though it is the better alternative, it's also painful as shit. Like I said, for the last few days, my energy level has dropped. I have not been able to do much. My lymph nodes are like tender. They're not swollen, as you can see. It's just everything is tender. My arm is still tense and it's been like four days. I can't really, you know, stretch fully or else there's pain. I, I had chills. I had like fevers. It was just annoying. And that's the thing with the C-19 vaccine, I didn't necessarily have these issues. I think the first night I was tired, but this one, it's been whipping my ass like round the clock and I'm not understanding why. <laughs> so if the vaccine is this much of a hurdle to just tolerate, I cannot imagine the excruciating pain people that have actually contracted it are going through. Because from what they're saying on the timeline, it's not a joke. Like these people are in pain. And I know that some people are like, well, I wanna have sex. I wanna do my super happy fun adult time shit. I understand that, you know, I'm also sexually liberated. I like to enjoy myself, but girl, it ain't worth it. From what I've been seeing, it is not worth it, especially because it is excruciatingly painful. Like vanity reasons aside, you know, a lot of people, they're very appearance prioritized. If that keeps you safe, think of it that way. I don't normally lean with physical appearance matter, but if that matters to you, use that as consideration to protect yourself. Do what you have to do, if you have to lie or not to get the vaccine, <laughs> if you have to lie to get the vaccine, I'm not, you know, I'm not telling you not to, I'm not telling you to not scam the medical system because they're definitely leaving a lot of people out to dry. The doses are few and girl, if you can get your hands on a vaccine, go for it because this is about to spread like wildfire because they're not taking it seriously. But yeah. Definitely drop your opinions down below. If you have any more information on monkeypox, feel free to drop it in the comments below because I tried to gather information from every source I could possibly find. I'm going to insert them into the video, but girl, it's just best to be safe because at this point, it ain't worth it. It ain't some coochie ain't worth it. Nico, y'all know I love a big booty, a big booty nigga, but it, it ain't worth it if I'm being quite honest. But yeah, definitely drop your opinions down below. <laughs> And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.